Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Gizmo Rush. If you have just unboxed your new gaming laptop, then congrats. I know you're itching to dive into some epic gaming sessions, but hold up. Before you start gaming on your new laptop, there are a few settings that you need to tweak to get the most out of your gaming beast. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the top settings that you need to change on your new gaming laptop. Don't worry, if you have had your gaming laptop for a while, then you can still apply these tips on your laptop to get the most out of your gaming machine. Let's dive in and optimize your gaming experience. First, starting with the power settings. As you already know, gaming laptops are power hungry and they can't survive a longer gaming sessions without a continuous power supply. To set it up, right click on this battery icon and click on power and sleep settings. Here, you can change the power mode from balance to high performance to enjoy your gaming sessions at the fullest. This will reduce the battery life if your gaming beast is not connected to the power source. But don't worry, as long as it's feeding directly from the power supply, there will be no problem. However, some laptop manufacturers add dedicated heat and power managing apps on their gaming laptops. For example, this Acer Nitro V15 laptop has a built-in app called NitroSense which can prolong your laptop's battery life by setting charging to 80% when it's plugged in. You can enable it by using these steps. First, press the Nitro button to open the NitroSense app. Then click on the personal settings and enable the optimized battery charging option. That's it. I hope that you have checked the laptop's specifications before buying it. If not, then you can check out the laptop's specifications from the task manager. Now, it's time to check the display settings. Just right click and select display settings option. It will direct you to the settings page. Here, you can optimize the display settings according to your preference. But for the best visual quality, I recommend using your gaming beast at the highest resolution. Like this gaming laptop which has a full HD 144Hz display. Also, make sure that your gaming laptop screen is running at the maximum refresh rate. Just scroll down a bit and click on advanced display, then select the maximum refresh rate. In case you're playing 4K games on a Full HD laptop, then switching to a 4K external monitor will improve the gaming experience. Okay, next one is graphic settings, where the magic happens. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, open the NVIDIA control panel. Under Manage 3D settings, set the preferred graphic processor to high performance NVIDIA processor. This will allow you to use dedicated NVIDIA graphic card for gaming and video editing work. A similar process can be done to enable the dedicated GPU on an AMD laptop. Just open the Radeon settings and do the same. This ensures that your laptop always uses the dedicated GPU for gaming, not the integrated one. If you want to know more about fine-tuning of your gaming laptop's graphic settings, then comment below and I'll drop a video on it. In case you're new to this channel, then subscribe to Gizmo Rush and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Laptop manufacturers often load their gaming laptops with third-party software and antivirus programs. So, I'm going to clear out these unnecessary apps from my laptop. Let's check the installed apps and see what we can remove. First up, Planet 9 Stub. And Solitaire and Casual Games. A bunch of useless games. If you come across any unfamiliar app on your gaming laptop, then make sure to Google them before uninstalling, just in case they're important. Trust me, sticking with Windows Defender on your gaming laptop is way better than paying for a third-party antivirus. These paid options often do the same thing but can interfere with your daily tasks. I'm not naming any one of these but you can see for yourself on the screen. The Core Isolation feature is an extra layer of security that isolates the core window features from potentially malicious code while installing games and other software on your gaming machine. But at the same time, it consumes a lot of power resulting in increased ping latency and low FPS. If you want to keep your gaming laptop safe from any malicious virus, then keep the core isolation enabled. But if you prioritize gaming performance and you are okay with potential risk, then you can disable this feature. Enough of these setups and security checks. Now it's time to put your laptop for an actual task, which it is made for. We'll install a game on it and check how well it works. I'm going to install the Call of Duty Warzone or Genshin Impact GTA 5. It's going to take a while. Till then, you can like this video and subscribe to Gizmo Rush and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates from us. Okay, now the game has been installed.
It's been so long since I've played this game. It feels nostalgic. Also, you can check out my gaming test video on the Acer Nitro V15 gaming laptop by clicking on the i button. If you're a laptop gamer, then you should definitely keep game mode enabled. It prioritizes your gaming experience by shutting down unnecessary background activities. When you're in the middle of a game, game mode stops Windows updates from installing drivers and sending annoying restart notifications. It also helps maintain a stable frame rate so you can focus on having fun with your favorite game. Game mode is usually enabled by default on most gaming laptops, but it's always good to double check. Just open your laptop settings, go to the gaming section and you'll see the game mode button. If it's off, simply toggle it on. This quick check can make a big difference in your gaming experience. Benchmark is a useful tool to measure the gaming performance of any gaming laptop. And after purchasing and spending some time with the gaming laptop, you may wonder how much actual potential your gaming laptop has. You will be so eager to check your laptop's CPU and GPU performance to find out if you bought the right gaming laptop with your budget. In that case, you can check out the MSI Afterburner and Cinebench R23 benchmarking tools to measure your laptop's performance. The MSI Afterburner shows a real-time GPU performance while you play any game. Similarly, the Cinebench R23 runs single-core and multi-core performance tests on your laptop's CPU. After a year or two, Windows gaming laptops tend to get a bit sloppy. This happens when your gaming laptop's RAM and internal storage is nearly full. If your laptop has an 8 or 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage, then you may need to upgrade your laptop to the ones with higher RAMs and storage capacity gaming laptop. The new laptop gamers might not feel this problem. But if you only have 512 gigs of internal storage, then I'm sure that you will need to equip your gaming beast with an additional SSD stick. And there you have it. With these settings, your new gaming laptop is now primed for peak performance. Remember, these little tweaks can make a big difference in your gaming experience. In case you're planning to buy a new gaming laptop, then watch these videos. If you find this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow gamers, and don't forget to subscribe to Gizmo Rush and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update. I'm Prakar and I'll catch you in the next one. Game on everyone!